If you're an elite member of society who uses a water bladder, hydration pack, or water reservoir, then here is the video. Hold on, hold on. Did we cover off all of the potential names? You know what happens when Australians use the word thong. I just want to make sure we're being inclusive of all the search terms. Um, you could also call it beverage bag, drink depot, liquid luggage, sippy sack. Then here is a video to help you clean, maintain, and store it. Step one, cleaning. You're going to want bubbles. No, not those kind of bubbles. Keep trying. We don't own a hot tub. Whose house is that? You want these kind of bubbles. Fill your bladder with warm water and a squirt of dish soap. Give it a good shake around. Squeeze your bite valve to let some water into the hose and let it soak for about 20 minutes. Now you can get these bladder cleaning kits for under $15. It will make your life easier. It comes with a long handled brush to help you get all up in there, a small brush for cleaning the mouthpiece, a long bendy thing to be able to clean inside your hose and a little hanger to help with drying. Hydro holster, thirst tote, aqua arsenal, hydration station, Oh, we're finished that part now, you can stop talking. Oh, sorry. So I'm going to drain most of the water and start scrubbing. It's a bit like flossing, but for your hiking gear. Of course, depending on your bladder, you might find it easier to dismantle the hose or the bite valve if yours allows you to do that. As an alternative to soapy water, you can also use specialized bladder cleaning tablets. I'll leave a link in the description for them. Or you can even use denture cleaning tablets. Once you've finished flossing, you'll want to rinse your bladder out. Keep rinsing until all the soapy residue is gone. Some say she rinsed until the rivers ran dry. Others say she rinsed until the following Tuesday. Either way, be prepared for your long journey ahead of rinse Dan, it didn't take very long. Just a few minutes, really. Don't listen to that dramatic voiceover. I don't know who edited that in there. Step two, plastic taste. If you find your bladder has a plastic taste, sometimes it will only need a single wash, just as we did then, and it will be gone. If it's still not gone, you can try squeezing the juice of three lemons mixed in with some warm water. Again, give it a shake and let some of the water through the hose and leave it to soak overnight before rinsing it out. Something to look out for when buying a bladder in the first place is quality. You want it to be BPA free, all that good stuff. The brand I have is Platypus and they specifically make note that it is certified taste free, which they were right. I'm going to name and shame here the MacPack Hydration Bladder. It's cheap, it works, but it has a very potent plastic taste that is very hard to get rid of. My friend bought one, it's been on three multi-day hikes. We washed it, we put bicarb soda and vinegar in it, we poured Coca-Cola in it, we took it to the car wash, no we didn't do that. But there are multiple reviews saying how it's got a terrible plastic taste. But it still tastes like plastic. So my advice is to read the reviews in regards to the plastic taste because you don't want to be out on a hike and end up avoiding your water intake. But hopefully the lemons are all you need to fix your plastic problems. Step three, drying and storage. Drying, I would say, is one of the most important things. If you put your bladder away and it's still damp, then this is the perfect breeding ground for mold. So I try and make sure mine is open and I stick it on the clothesline to dry. Sometimes I will also stick a chopstick in it and leave it on the bench inside. I live in a very dry climate, so it dries out pretty quickly. Some other things you can consider is to put some paper towels inside or use a hairdryer. And if your bladder allows, you can use a little coat hanger to help it dry, which will maximize airflow. Maybe even throw a whisk in there if you have one. As for the hose, I just hang this up too. You can even give it a twirl to help thin out those water droplets. If you live in a humid climate or you simply can't be bothered to wait for it to dry, you have the cryotherapy option, meaning you can just store it in the freezer and any mold growth will lie dormant. This is actually quite a popular choice. One final piece of advice is what happens in the bladder stays in the bladder. So try and use it for one single purpose. So if you want to put electrolytes in it, have it as your dedicated one for electrolytes. Same goes for filtering water. I use this bag here to collect dirty water and it's only ever used for that purpose. So there you have it, now you can bask in the glowing reflection of your squeaky clean bladder. Stay hydrated, subscribe, hydrate while subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one. River Rucksack, Drink Duffel, Gulp Gear, Housing for Liquid.